guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jensine aka Jungle Naps now you guys have requested for me to do a work friendly work appropriate type of look so I came up with this makeup look now it's not traditionally like bronze eye or only neutral colors I wanted to have a little bit of color in there to spice things up because you know I don't want to keep it boring for you guys but at the same time it is work appropriate it isn't like crazy looking now if you're brand new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet girl don't wait any longer if you love beauty videos tutorials hauls reviews uh, this is the place for you I do upload three times a week Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays so you want to make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload so with that being said oh I also want to say one more thing I did add lashes for this I mean obviously I feel like if you work in a nine-to-five lashes might not be that practical for every day and you can skip that step but I kind of wanted to add a little bit of drama so I did add some lashes now with that being said let's go on and get into the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy this first things first in the morning guys we gotta have that coffee I know that I am slower than a sloth in the morning without my coffee. So today I'm going to be using these Cupid Arrow brushes from Jelly Pong Pong and we're going to start with the eyes, of course. So I'm layering on this Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Caffeine. This is really good for when you want to make your colors pop, those eyeshadows, you know? And I'm just using a regular eyeshadow brush to just smooth everything out and really make sure that it takes on the shape of my eyeshadow. To set that, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Master Fix Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And this is just going to kind of set it, make it mattified, so when I go in with my colors, they blend out really nicely. Look, it's my Sweet Peach Palette. You guys, I love this palette so much. And I'm going in with the color Puree because it's really good to kind of cancel out any color and bring it down to my natural skin tone, if that makes sense. And then the first color I'm going in with is just peachy and after wetting my brush with fix plus I'm going to apply this to the lid but I'm taking this past my actual crease so it's going way up higher as you can see I brought it really high so that it's gonna be really noticeable throughout the day it's still gonna be pretty but that way it's not going to get lost in my folds now I'm taking this cute Tarte palette and I just love their packaging guys. I'm going in with Seaside and I'm going in with into my transition area. That way it just kind of makes everything blend together. So I wet my brush with setting spray and I'm going into Siren and we're going to deepen the outer crease like the outer V area. It's going to be still nice and light once I'm done blending it out, but it's still gonna provide like a light smoky effect, if you guys get what I mean. And this blending brush was surprisingly good at diffusing everything out. So now I'm taking the Jouer Cosmetics uh, Slim Cream Liner and I'm sticking to the outer part of my lid and smudging that out. And damn you guys, I'm addicted to this lash primer from L'Oreal. I feel like it makes my lashes a lot more noticeable. So yeah, I love it. And then I'm going in with the Lash Paradise, which is such a nice mascara for plumping up your lashes and making them really look like voluminous, you know? Now you can leave your lashes just like this, but I needed a little bit more drama. I needed that drama in my life, so skip that step if you're not about lashes. Now we prime, and I'm going in with my mattifying primer from e.l.f., and I'm using a makeup sponge to apply that to my T-zone, which is where I get the oiliest girl. Sometimes you could just, it's like a water slide in that area. It's super slippery. I highly suggest it if you're an oily chica 
or dude. Now for the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Tarte Timeless Primer and it's great for smoothing out the skin and giving your makeup that nice blurred effect. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? I want it all the time. For under my eyes, my skin there is pretty dry, so I use the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. And I just kind of dot it under there like I would eye cream, and definitely give it time to set so that it has time to sink into that skin. Now this right here is my favorite drugstore foundation, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and I use the shade 368 on the outer parts of my face because it's gonna give a really natural look, and one of my favorite things about this foundation guys is how natural it looks on the skin and it truly truly is matte so if you're an oily person this is going to be like holy grail status and don't worry about the color matching right now when we're done you're going to see how nice this turns out so this is the shade 355 and i'm going to put it in the center parts of my face taking care to blend where the two shades meet together now i'm going in with my beach cosmetics total coverage concealer and i'm just putting this under my eyes i'm not going through the whole extra part of highlighting my forehead and my chin and all that because i'm going to work i don't have time now i'm using the medium deep shade of laura mercier which is one of my holy grails for setting concealer it's just so good and of course i am still on that lancome setting powder kick it just looks so beautiful it has this like luminous like finish to it now i'm going in with my tartiste contour palette and look powder contour is just the quickest especially when you're pressed for time and this one looks beautiful and of course i'm using the same blush from that contour set now I'm going in with my new Bay MAC O Darling and highlighting, you know, just in the cheek area. And I'm also going to take it down the center of my nose. Don't worry, we're going to blend it out. See? It looks beautiful now, doesn't it? <laughs> I got to hit it up one time with my MAC Fix Plus. It makes all of your powders just kind of melt together. And you can follow that up with your own uh, mattifying setting spray if you're a little bit more oily. Today's nude lip combo is a MAC chestnut liner, which is like a classic staple. And I'm just lining and filling in the lips. And then we're going to go in with more creamer, please, from the Dose of Color collection. And following that with over the top lip gloss. So this is the final look for this makeup. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you're in the mood to go ahead and check out some of my other videos, why not check out these right here? Um, also, I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys and, um, you know, come back again and again and watching each video. Please leave any suggestions down below in the comments. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!